How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Mail Day video. Today, we are talking about Magic the Gathering. That's what I have here in this package from TCG Player Direct. Before we get started, I do want to mention that I am an affiliate with TCG Player now. So, if you'd like to pick up some excellent, you know, card singles, especially for Magic the Gathering here, um, check out my link, affiliate link, in the description down below. So, for today's video, we're going to open up this, you know, this fine package. I'm going to show you the cards that I'm actually picking up. It's pretty rare for me to actually pick up Magic singles, so, you know, this in itself is a pretty, uh, pretty special occasion. I do have some cards down here that are kind of a, kind of a hint at what's to come here. This is actually a collector's edition Sarah Angel, not a not an alpha or beta one. You can kind of tell by the, the the pointed corners here. Still gorgeous card, beautiful card, but kind of a hint at what's to come. And just like I did with that flesh and blood mail day video that I recently posted, if you didn't see that, I'd highly recommend checking that out if you like flesh and blood. I'm going to show you what I bought, but I'm also going to tell you why I bought them and what decks I'm going to be putting them in because I'm actually building a brand new commander deck, which is um, pretty uncommon for me once again. So yeah, let's just open this up and uh, we'll, we'll just, you know, start talking about things as we go. All right, I got the little pull tab pulled here. I don't want to really show my address, so I might have a you know have to cut here. And it was, but we do have cards inside. Cards inside. I'm kind of glad that they hid the cards inside because some of the cards in here are a little a little spicy. There's nothing like super expensive, nothing like a, an alpha or beta Sarah Angel, but you know there's still some cards in here. So basically, I was looking through my Magic cards recently, kind of doing some sorting. I had a whole bunch of tons of rares and mythics like unsorted. And I was like, um, you know what? I could actually build a really sick commander deck if I just kind of take apart one that I don't have. You know, I actually have like 15 or so commander decks. Um, so take apart one and I can build a really sweet one, one that I've wanted to build for a very long time if I bought the commander for it. So here we go. Let's see if it's going to spoil the commander right off the bat. Nope, not spoiling the commander right off the bat. Excellent. So some of the cards I did buy here are actually for some decks that I already have. I kind of looked over some recent Magic cards and sets, and I was like, yo, those cards look sweet. I want to put these in my already existing Commander decks. And I did pull those aside, so I can kind of show you what these are going into. So we have this Sublime Epiphany, a foil, full extended art version. I was say full art. An extended art version of Sublime Epiphany. Gorgeous card. Beautiful foiling. I really like this card a lot. I'm putting this in my Maelstrom Wanderer deck because you can actually cascade into this and it'd still be pretty good. So yeah, I like that a lot. Next up is Grim Tutor, non-foil non um, alternate art. And I should have multiple copies of Grim Tutor because this card's really, really good. Finally got a reprint of it. I really love this alternate art. And um, I have a lot of decks th that this can go into. I own a lot of copies of Demonic Tutor. And you know what? I have a lot of, um, you know, fairly tuned commander decks that really want this card. So this is going to go into my Yawgmoth Thran Physician deck. It's going to go into my Muldrotha deck and maybe the new deck that I'm building. Um, it might not go, you know, I also have a Sent Triplets deck that already has a ton of tutors and it. it might not go in that one, but we shall see. I also have an Extended Art Genesis Ultimatum also going in my Maelstrom Wanderer deck. And the final card here is the spiciest one of all. It is this foil alternate art Kalia of the Vast. And this is the whole reason I actually placed this order because I was like, yo, how much is that awesome Scott M. Fisher artwork Kalia of the Vast? And it was like 30 to 40 bucks for the foil version. And I was like, yo, that's sick. This is the only card I really need to make a Kalia of the Vast deck. Just kind of take apart my demon deck, take apart my kind of janky angel deck. And I can make a legitimately good Kalia deck. And, you know, this is kind of why I have the Sarah Angel here with the classic Douglas uh, Schuler artwork. Because Scott and Fisher love the artwork of this Kalia of the Vast. Um, never made a Kalia deck before. But, I mean, like I said, I got all the pieces to it. And one of these Grim Tutors that I picked up would be fantastic in a Kalia deck. So let me show you the decks that these are going to all go into really quickly. I don't think this video is going to take too much longer. I'm definitely gonna sleeve this uh, this Kali up before it becomes a full-on Pringle. But um, yeah, so we got Genesis and Sublime Epiphany. Those two are both going in Maelstrom Wanderer. So let me let me pull that one out 
right now. These are all are going to get perfect fit sleeves. Um, but I'll just kind of show you the, the Maelstrom Wanderer deck. Which one is it? I have these all off screen. Here's my Maelstrom Wanderer, Wanderer deck. All the decks you're going to see here are my top tier decks. Um, well, personally, my top tier decks are all quite souped up. Quite powerful. They're not really a 10, but they're up there, man. Um, so here's the Genesis Ultimatum. Eat that. And I'm not sure what I'm going to take out for the Sublime Epiphany. To be completely honest, but I think it's really, really sweet in here. I don't like counter spells in Maelstrom Wanderer, except you know, there's there's a couple exceptions here. You got your your Mana Vault, got your um, Japanese Foil Dak Faden, your Mana Crypts. Like I said, uh, it's a fairly fairly tuned deck. I got you know fetches, I got shocks, um, I got optimal ramp for the most part. Powerful cards. Really like. Um, Mana Confluence. A lot of foils here. Like I said, these are like kind of my pet decks. I've been playing Magic for a very long time, and so I kind of like, you know, amass a decent collection over time. Ooh, also like Cryptic Command in the deck. Also like these uh, old school foils, like this uh, Guided Passage. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to take out yet. I do have a Kiki Jiki combo here. Kiki Jiki and one of the new cards from uh, Commander Legends, also OG, OG Strip Mine. This is, now I'm just kind of flexing. But yeah, this is my Maelstrom Wanderer deck. Um, foil, Oracle of Moldaya. And um, yeah, oh yeah, I have, I have a, of course I have a Manager. Oh, this is one of the new cards I put in here. A Coercive Recruiter. So it is a foil, but it's not capturing the foilicity very well. Coercive Recruiter and the Kiki Jiki. Make an infinite combo. And I, not all my decks have infinite combos. In fact, most of them do not. But I wanted a single infinite combo in Maelstrom Wanderer just, just in case. This is usually a big dumb deck. You know, making big dumb creatures and doing big dumb things. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just want to stumble into a, uh, a in infinite combo. Here's a, a foil ley line and a foil uh, original Cyclonic Rift. Uh, there's a lot of spicy stuff in here. But, yeah, that's what those two cards are going to go. Oop. They're all uh, they're all heavy played now. That's what those two cards are going to go into. Where's the the, the box that I just put down? Here we go. Um, Maelstrom Wanderer. This is actually one of my first commander decks I ever made. Um, so this one, you know, near and dear to my heart. Um, pretty pretty well optimized. Uh, one of the Grim Tutors is probably gonna go in my Moldrotha deck. This is a heavy permanent Moldrotha deck. Almost no spells and some pretty sweet like old school cards like Avatar Woe. I had you guys. You saw the Warp Call Engines. I have in both decks. Intuition. I, I like this deck because I can play a lot of cards in here that I just really like and I think are a lot of fun. Um, I do have the Foil Siren Storm Tanger, Tamer from uh, Commander Legends, Seb McKinnon, um, and Tomb. One of my favorite artists, obviously. One of my favorite artists. So I um, had to opt for the the Foil and Tomb here, but you can't really. You can kind of see a little bit of it. Yo, check it out. Old school. Um, unlimited control magic. Actually, really good in Moldrotha because you can kind of keep playing it from your bin. So yeah, I'm probably going to put one of the Grim Tutors in here. As you can see, there's not a lot of spell cards in the deck. Instead, I opt for like um, permanent cards instead. So like a permanent board sweeper, like Oblivion. Ooh, another uh, unlimited card, uh, Anime Dead, right next to freaking Gigan. Alex, I love the juxtaposition here. Mana Vault, got to put your Mana Vaults in all your decks. I do like... The cheap planeswalkers in this deck because you can keep replaying. So I do like Liliana in this uh, in this deck. And once again, old school foils, man. Old school foils are the best. So yeah, this is once again love love my old school cards. I've been playing for such a long time. I've had these kind of stuff for forever. So the fact that they're like you know still around and awesome, you know you gotta you gotta play with them. Lovely lovely demonic tutor. Not the not the last demonic tutor. We'll see in this video. And I, have, I do have my Pokemon, my Pokemon Energy Islands. Um, I do like, I do actually like these the Theros, like the Nyx lands and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So this is Moldrotha. I do have a Dark Depth uh, combo going on in here. Not an instant win combo, but you know it's Dark Depths. It's Moldrotha. You can kind of keep playing it and keep doing shenanigans. So you gotta, y you just gotta, which is. Um, Oh, also, Mind Slaver and uh, Moldrotha is also not a lot of fun. So yeah, that is my Moldrotha deck. As you can see, not a lot of um, spells in it, but the tutors are great. No idea what I'm taking out for the Grim Tutor. No idea. So we'll I'll figure something else out. I also have this um, uh, Centripless deck. We're gonna go with this real quick, just because I want to show you some cards that I will not be playing with. Also using the the, the Nyx lands. 
um, bubble. Where, where's my bubble counterspell? Bubble art counterspell. Vesuvian doppelganger, one of my favorite cards of all time. Um, where is? Okay, so here we go. This is my uh, Japanese Avison. Um, I have another Avison we will be playing with in the Kalia deck. Also, uh, foil Elishnorn. That's pretty. This is just a, a very, very pretty card. So yeah, let's uh, let's eat these out of here. The last deck I'm gonna show you real quick. Like I said, these are like my top tier decks. They're not all like the best decks, but they're decks that I've spent a lot of time, uh, a lot of time on. This one is my Yogmoth Thran Physician deck. He is foil if we can kind of get the get the foil. Yogi, Yogi dude. There we go. There's the foiling. In case you're wondering, by the way, people always ask. Um, all the sleeves that I'm showing you so far, they are all Dragon Shield sleeves. Um, yeah, foil damnation. Yo, I forgot that was in here. So yeah, this is my mono black deck. Um, as you can see, uh, mono black deck got a lot of love. Every single swamp in here is a John Avon full art swamp from um, Unhinged. No, no, Unhinged. The um, the newer one, Unstable. All once again, OG strip mine. Some cards that are, you know, not great, but good in this deck. You know, good in this deck. Classic, not that good anymore. Doesn't see a whole lot of play, but I still love Mindstone, man. I still love me some Mindstone Isidy. Um, really like this deck. Oh, also I put in some, some quartz. This quartz is actually not super great in Commander, but I think it's fun. Um, it doesn't really synergize with Yogmoth, but it makes me the Monarch, so I do like that. You got your 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 Bitter Blossom, um, and of course your Degenerate Opposition Agent. You gotta play with the Oppo Agent, and of course um, Necropotence with the OG foiling from the um, Garfield versus Finkel, I believe. Um, so yeah, this is my uh, my um, Yogmoth deck. Like this deck a lot. Uh, I would consider this deck very powerful, but not like not like top tier. Does have some of my you know more prized cards. Once again, got got, got to get your mana crypt. Um, so yeah, this deck is sweet. Snuff out, really sweet card. You know, snuff out's always a surprise card. You always can kind of like get them. With, uh, with with snuff out, um, I do have some Am Amonkhet invocations here. Really underrated. I think they're cool. A lot of people are like, "Nah, they look like Yu-Gi-Oh." I think they're cool. I think they're cool. Um, this deck has more than a few, I think, Am Amonkhet invocations. Yo, Font of Agonies is so sweet with Yogmoth because you pay life for his ability. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, Mazebeth, classic, classic card. Just kind of just we're just showing off some magic, man. Just showing off some magic. I don't have a whole lot of time. You gotta play your Yogmoth's will with your Yogmoth if you own a will. This card's so expensive. I remember buying this for thirty bucks. What is it now? One hundred fifty something, maybe two hundred. I don't know, man. It's gross. Oh, also foil malicious malicious affliction. Kind of want to put this in my Kalia deck, but Yogmoth gets top billing over Kalia. I'm sorry. Um, so I kind of want to show you these decks because first of all, some of these cards that I bought are going to be going into these decks. And second of all, um, this Kalia deck is going to rival these decks in terms of sweetness. Oh, yeah, this Genesis Ultimatum. I took it out and never did anything with it. Yeah, that's a pretty obvious uh, yeet. So we can take this one out. You have served me not that well because I have not played a lot of Commander in 2020. But uh, it will serve me well because uh, I think this card is fantastic. This card is so sweet. And it's like the quintessential Maelstrom Wanderer card, right? It costs like a billion mana, but you can cascade into it. And it says, look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, it's not just draw five cards. It's uh, draw five cards and put a bunch of them onto the field. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put this in front. Whatever. So here I have my Kalia deck. My brick of Kalia cards that I've pulled aside that I want to put in my Kalia deck. Um, let's kind of put some of these cards off to the side. Beautiful Sublime Epiphany, by the way. I love this card, man. Such a good card. Artwork, too. Man, so good. So we'll leave a Grim Tutor. And we'll leave Kalia here. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you my Kalia deck that I have brewing. It's not entirely completed yet. In fact, there's still way more cards than there should be. Um, Sarah could make a could make an appearance, though she's not kind of up to the power level that I that I want to do here, but uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So we have uh, this Kalia Zenith Seeker, letting you draw some dragons and demons and angels. Um, 
some more uh, Amonkhet cards. This is Loyal Retainers. Really good for this deck because we are playing a lot of Legends. You got your Giver of Runes, your Mother of Runes, Protect your Kalia. Um, Bastion Protector also protects your Kalia, giving her Indestructible, which is great. Uh, Aroas, once again, a lot of these cards here at the beginning um, are good at protecting Kalia, so Aroas lets us attack with Impunity because she gets damage prevented when she attacks. We got some Demon Lord Bells and Lock, and you know, just kind of like some angels and demons here. Ruins Guard Demon lets you tutor. Lord of the Void is just sweet. Overseer the Damned lets you kill something and make zombies. Archfiend of, of Despair kind of like doubles up damage, which is excellent. Doom Whisper, it, it doesn't, it's not super powerful, but being able just to surveil a whole bunch, and it's only a five drop, six, six. It's Trample too, that's not too bad. Harvester of Souls is a good one, lets you draw a lot of cards. Blood Gift is also sweet. You can actually kill people with Blood Gift, which is hilarious. Ooh, Thunder Maw. I love Thunder Maw in this deck. When you look at it, you're like, oh, no, that's a standard card. That's a not even a modern card. But in Commander, people are like, nah, no, nah, Thunder Maw. But I think it's really sweet with Kalia because when you put it onto the field, it'll tap all your opponent's dudes with flying. So you can actually get through with your Kalia. So it's kind of another way to protect your Kalia a little bit so they can't, like, block with it. I actually like Thunder Maw a lot in this deck. Bargardin, obviously, drop it, deal some damage. Um, Steel Hellkite, another really sweet one. You know, Commander, classic. Hellkite Tyrant, alternate wing con, also just, you know, steal their soul rings. Bellfire Dragon, also excellent. I do have a extended art foil one from Ultimate Masters in my uh, Maelstrom Wanderer deck, but eh, I'll probably leave that one in there. Utvar Hellkite's really sweet, creating them 6 6 dragon tokens. Um, Dragon Mage. I'm not sure if this will make the final cut. But, you know, I like wheeling. I like wheeling and dealing. Hellcat Charger uh, with enough mana and enough like certain cards, you can actually get infinite attacks. I do not have the infinite attack combo in here. I do not have the Sword of Feast and Famine. You can slap it on your Hellcat Charger and then get infinite attacks. Um, I do like Aurelia. Really, really sweet because, you know, when she attacks for the first damage combat, you can untap all your creatures and then gain an additional combat phase. Really good for Kalia here being able to get another combat phase. So Aurelia is uh, fantastic. Here's that other Avacyn that I was mentioning. I mean, you're playing Kali, you gotta have Avacyn, and I have my um, alternate art uh, judge promo. Avacyn. Beautiful card. Just, I mean, she's Avacyn, dude. Beautiful. Gotta live that Mel dream with Gisela and Bruna. Um, hold on. Let's kind of set this. Gotta live that meld dream, that Cthulhu angel Mailed dream, mailed, mailed dream, <laughs> Brazella, voice of nightmares. Yeah, I love this card. Yeah, so obviously, obviously, any angel deck I make, those two get an auto and clue. Let's just kind of pick these up so I can go through. Avison or Archangel Avison, turning into one of my favorite arts of all time. Archangel or Avison the Purifier, beautiful, such a cool artwork there. Uh, Gisela, obviously, you're playing Gisela, dude. Double the damage, take half damage. Linval is a, a pretty efficient one, um, locking out your opponents. Really like Resto Angel, because you can blink your Kalia, not when she attacks, but just generally. You can, you know, if someone's going to try to kill spell your Kalia, you can blink your Kalia and uh, save her. So, I do like Resto here. Um, Arbiter, I don't know if it'll make the final cut, but beautiful Steve Argyle artwork. And uh, it's pretty good at kind of, like, slowing up the game a little bit, locking your opponents out. Do really like Don Blake. Don Break, Don Blake, Reclaimer, <laughs> um, just, it's just a really fun card, um, Platinum Angel, obviously, uh, ooh, this is gonna make the cut no matter what, one of my favorite angels of all time, I don't care if she gets outclassed, love, Chroma, Angel of Wrath, beautiful, I got, I do have this foil one, this is the Time Spiral version, but I actually like the Time Spiral version foil more than the original version foil, because it actually foils out the background here, so you can see the foiling on like her armor and gloves and stuff. Yeah, beautiful. Loves me some Acroma. Um, we also have Angel of Despair. And I'm not sure if I wanted to use the original print or this uh, foily um, Eternal Ma or Double not double, double Masters. Oh my God, um, Ultimate Masters. I don't know. Which one do you think? Ultimate Masters foil does have darker inking, or just classic OG? Hmm. Not sure. Karmic Guide, excellent. Being able to um, you know resurrect a dude. It's quite good. I love Magister of Worth, and I love the RK Post artwork. Um, I have like 20 or 30 of these, because they were super cheap. They're only like 20 cents. So I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm going to buy a bunch of them. Um, I love this card for Commander. Then we have some boring cards. You got your Toxic Deluge. You got your Damnation. I am buying 
the Seb McKinnon secret layer, as well as that, that metal secret layer. And uh, that damnation is going to go in here, even though it'll kind of ruin my damnation. Uh, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I won't ruin here. Maybe I'll bring that foil damnation I have over to from the Ogmoth deck into here so I can still have this. Because, man, that, that's so cool. And then uh, the uh, Yawgmoth deck can have this Seb McKinnon damnation. Disrupt, disrupt Decorum, the red Wrath of God. Such a fun card. Uh, Austere Command, I don't know if it'll make the cut, but it has an angel in the picture. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, Ruinous Ultimatum. Dude. Dude. Uh, Shattering Spree, one of the best artifact destruction cards ever printed. Swords of Plowshares and uh, Path to Exile. Do like my extended art. Swords of Plowshares. And obviously, Path to Exile with the best art. I will fight you. The best art for Path to Exile. Rebecca Gay. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Malicious, malicious Affliction. I do like this card. Because, um, you know, I have it in my Yawgmoth deck, too. Love the artwork. Um, and it's just kind of on theme with the deck. Dreadbore. Going to be using that alternate art one from the Secret Lair. Like, easily. Uh, Bedevil. On theme with the deck. Colligan's Command. Not on theme with the deck, but just a fantastic card. Yo, Vindicate. Love it. Love this, and I love this um, Judge promo foil vindicate um utter end will probably get cut for the anguished i'm making from that metal secret layer uh immortal sun we're not running any planeswalkers so just really good and then we have some like lightning greaves with boots dark steel plates really good with kalia to give her indestructible blade of selves i don't know if this will make the final cut but i think it is hilarious home of the host is amazing with kalia uh vidalcan orrery I mean, it's a bit of an Ori. Warstorm Surge is also hilarious with uh, Kalia. Just playing out your Utvar Hellkite. Hitting him for six. And then uh, triggering the token trigger for the creating a dragon. And hitting him for another six. Yeah, it's gross. Uh, Quarter Grace doesn't super synergize. Well, I mean, it ma makes angels here. And gives us the monarchy. Which is what we want. So, yeah. Quicksilver Amulet. I don't know about this one yet. It's cool. But I'd rather just ramp. And play this but also this you know the instant speed i don't know i like it planner bridge on the other hand is awesome because it lets you two to for a permanent and then just boom slap it into play uh stunning reversal is a hilarious card and i think it's really really fun same with thrilling encore just also really powerful protects you from board wipes seize the day is actually really good with this deck because um you can you know attack again with your kalia which is you know kind of what we want to do want to attack with a kalia kalia now we have some tutors. Gamble. We're playing a red deck. I'm playing Gamble. I don't care if it's not as good as the Monic Tutor. The Monic Tutor. I'm running all of them. Gamble gets a spot in my deck. So does Vampiric Tutor because it's Vampiric Tutor. So does the Monic Tutor because it's the Monic Tutor, especially with the Lily artwork. I really like Acroma's Will. First of all, because of it has the word Acroma in it, but also because it's awesome and can give our uh, Kalia indestructible, plus all this other stuff too. Uh, Teferi's Protection because obviously um these are the uh ikoria free spells if you have your commander and i'm running all of them all the ones for the colors because they're free and they're all really good we have some draw spells um this is knight's whisper sign and blood read the bones um necropotence not my favorite artwork for this really love the uh, old school artwork but yeah this is the one i have the extra one i have i used to have a i need to just buy a freaking um ice age one uh, Phyrexian Arena, pretty obvious. Mind's Eye, pretty obvious. I'm not sure if I'm going to run it in the deck. We got OG Soul Ring, some land. This is my ramp now. Land Tax, Curse of Opulence, just really solid ramp. You got your On Color Signets, OG ones. Uh, your Arcane Signet, because of course. Um, Extortionist, just really solid card. Then we have some of the more expensive ones that I'm not sure if we'll make in the cut, but these are still really good. Commander Sphere, Coalition Relic, Worn Power Stone. I love the ones that add double, like the Coalition and the Power Stone. Um, Smothering Tithe will definitely make the cut. Um, Thran Dynamo will definitely make the cut. I'm not sure if the Gilded Lotus will, though. And then, of course, we have our um, our lands. So we got, you know, Foil, Command Tower. Love the OG <clears throat> OG Mark Tidine uh, City of Brass artwork. And since I do not have one from Arabian Nights, I'll just use this Chronicles one. Uh, Reflecting Pool. We got this Foil Savai Triome. Most of the lands in here come in untapped. Because um, you just want to be... I mean, that's just the way to be the most efficient. But I do really like the, the Triome. And also has Cycling, too. So, I like the Triome a lot. I'm running some Fetchlands. Fable Passage and Prismatic Vista. Because they're sweet. And we do have a, a little bit. We have nine um, basics. And then, of course, we have Marsh Flats. Arid Mesa. And um, 
the other one. I forgot what it was. It's in Korean. Whatever. I forgot. I forgot what it, what it is. But there you go. We also have this uh, Blood Crypt, Sacred Foundry, and Godless Shrine. You know, got your shocks. Got your fetches. Got your shocks that draw you cards. Your Horizon Lands. Got your Silent Clearing. And your Sunbaked Canyon. Have your regular Pain Lands. Gotta have the old school um, Phil Foglio Demon Sulfurous Springs. We also got your Battlefield Forge and your Caves of Coilos. Then we have your Filter Lands. Got a couple of them are in, are in foil. Um, this poor Rugged for Prairie is not in foil, but yep. Once again, want all the ones that come in untapped. Then we also have your Battle Bond Lands, as well as ones that were printed in um, Commander Legends. Once again, gotta get the ones that come in untapped. And then we have the um, miscellaneous ones. You know, got your Ancient Tomb, because the Ancient Tomb we playing a lot of a lot of big drops. This is a a French. Chronicles, or I think it's called Renaissance. There's a French strip mine from Renaissance. It's got that black border. Really nice. Homeward Path, because, you know, if they steal your stuff, you want to get it back. Command Beacon, just, you know, play your Kalia again. Rogue's Passage can give Kalia unblockable, which is really good, so they can't block and kill it. Core Haven just helps us prevent damage from attacking creatures. Phyrexian Tower lets us sacrifice dudes to great, create mana, um, and if they're trying to steal it or whatever, doing some shenanigans, we can sack our big dudes. And then, of course, we have your Swamps, your Plains, and your Montanas. I'm not sure if this is the right amount of Swamps, Plains, and Montanas. That will be determined by um, which cards actually make the final cut for the deck. And, you know, I got some extras here, so I might run more Swamps. Might run more Plains, or probably not more Mountains. Probably going to be either more Swamps or more Plains. Yeah, that was my Magic the Gathering Mail Day video talking about some Commander decks. You know, ones that I have, and then ones that I am going to be building i think it's going to be a really sweet deck once again i think it's going to rival that of my other four decks that i have right there i have a bunch of other decks too i mean i have like this vampire deck and this box off screen it's just a you know a markov vampire you know edgar markov edgar i don't know why i said that's so weird edgar markov vampire deck got some other bunch of random commander decks too but i think this one's going to be a lot of fun and i love absolutely love this artwork on this Kalia of the vast and i was like do i want to get a foil you know do we get a Pringle foil, or do I want to get a non-foil? But I think the Pringle foil was definitely worth it. You can kind of see the tattoo on her leg is foiled. It's just so nice looking. It's just so good. So yeah, if you like the video, then leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out my affiliate link with TCG Player in the description down below. You know, using that supports me, and you know, I appreciate it oh so much. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time for some more card game content. Let me know if you like. The Magic the Gathering content, and maybe I will make more. I really only play Commander these days. I do like Canadian Highlander as well. Mostly I talk about Flesh and Blood. But, uh, yeah, just let me know. And I'll uh, see you later. Alright, bye.